Hi, this is Kelly. I thought I'd give you a little health update. So some of you have been following along and I've been doing a liver, gallbladder, and parasite cleanse and colon cleanse. And I've been really sick. Um, I've had a lot of health issues my whole life, <clears throat> but especially um, most recently in the last six months, I have symptoms similar to irritable bowel syndrome. And so I flew to Michigan after working all summer as a whale watching captain and I have family here and I immediately felt the urge to go to the health food store and I bought some things that at the time seemed kind of random and um, actually I think it was my intuition speaking, um, speaking to me and I also drank um, almost a gallon of apple cider Michigan apple cider within about two days when I first got here I was just craving it and come to find out um, when I started to do all these cleanses I'm actually full of several types of parasites worms so I knew I would have candida I was pretty sure of that and I did and I also passed some really um, rubbery type mucosal lining that protects your intestines from all the toxins that you ingest anyways by the way as we speak I'm eating squash seeds from my 96 year old grandmother's squash that I harvested from her garden and I um, brought them up here to save for a seed and to plant but now I'm actually eating them because they actually help paralyze parasites and they also help um, kill the eggs of parasites so anyways this is pretty personal pretty pretty wild to talk about um, you know I remember one of my cousins getting worms when we were kids and getting dewormed of course I've had pets that get dewormed um, I've never seen any signs of any worms in me before that I knew of but I always had this belly bloat I kind of looked like a uh, African child um, in my 20s. Um, I was pretty thin and fit and then I had this big huge belly bloat which I attributed to candida which at the time I wasn't sure how to get rid of but anyways through this process now I'm 44 years old um, I've been doing my first ever parasite cleanse and I've had probably over the last week, I would say over three, gosh, probably three gallons of what I think are pinworms come out. And I think there are some different types of liver flukes as well. And I just took my first stool sample to send to a lab. By the way, I was just tested last year for, for intestinal parasites. They came back negative. It doesn't mean that I got them in the last year. I think I've probably had them my whole life. They can also be passed down through mother's breast milk and everything. But as a kid, I was a tomboy and running around everywhere. So who's to say how I got them? But my point for bringing up that it was a negative test result is that they kind of hide. And so I had to kind of activate them by all these cleansing and detoxing um, and killing off of these parasites to have them uh, available now in my stool and there's some that are still alive but most are dead um, so I just ate a huge round of garlic I just had um, it's funny how my body's craving what I need I just had a bunch of cilantro which is really good for me and then I was eating it kind of like just candy I was just craving it along with some hummus and garlic and the hummus has tahini, which is made of sesame seeds, which is also good. So I'm doing a lot of things in this protocol. And I could share some of the things that I'm doing. Um, but right now I'm sort of having some die-off effects where I feel tired, lethargic, have a little bit of a headache. And um, mentally I'm totally blown away that this crap has been living in me all these years. And that uh, I feel violated. These suckers are gonna have to go there's just no other way about it and life will begin anew 
So I just wanted to share my update. And by the way, these um, seeds aren't pumpkin seeds, but squash seeds in general are, are good to eat raw. So instead of planting them, they're going to be planted between my teeth.